ko him na gwa omo wa omo igbe ebe obula ha nowo had this regard all that uh, information is coming from the pit of hell all a wicked person who just want to tarnish my image in build ole this image have been built in many years ganimo state in him the well form of coalition all because of injustice and ndi mo mam e ga na olu a na ekwu okwu ta e nwe de hobla we ha na olu na wo do under my watch as the mayor of all okay jere hen ila all right, great people. All right, freedom fighters. Finally, the new Ebubago commander has spoken. Finally, finally. The man have admitted that he formed coalition. <laughs> finally, finally, the new Ebubago have spoken. And I hope every one of you heard this man at the same time yapping and talking all sort of rubbish from his mouth you see we are not coming here to gossip but i always bring authentic information to our people we are bringing authentic reality i believe in reality that is why i will keep on telling you people things the way it is and always down the consequences the Bubako commander have finally spoken. The mayor na Umuwa, he is from Umudim in Olo. The man that we just saw talking rubbish. And there is something I want to let our people understand. The man was, you know, he was trying to deny. At the same time, he complicate himself. And I will bring the news in detail. That, you see, we have learned a lot from our leader, Mazen Namdikan. That is the reason why our second name is consistency. Let me introduce myself. All right, great people, freedom fighters. Lovers of freedom are great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Nandi Okukano, where we always set the record straight. My name's all Mazo Kenina Okechuku, known as the Biafran Chai the Wanshineke, the general. Now, let me bring this news in detail to you all, so that you will begin to understand the root of this problem, because there is something I always tell my people. If you never find the root of a problem, Believe you me, there is no how you can solve it. And there is no any place in history that a killer have accepted or admitted that he is a killer. There is no place. I want to give you people an example. You people, I hope you people haven't forgotten that Ogu, the mayor of Mozambique, the former Ebubago commander, Killed 14 hefty men, more than a dozen. He sent them early grave. But today, Ogu is still on the run and still denying of killing of those our men. Now you begin to understand what I'm saying. I hope you are getting my point. And I hope you listened very careful what that man the new commander of Ibubago said when he was, you know, bragging, yapping at the same time, talking all sort of rubbish. But he think that we are coming here to, to, to just waste our saliva. We are telling him that we are washing him closer. We are washing this man closer. And like I always say to my people, extension, what happens to us by Ogu can never happen to us from this man. There are two different issues. When Ogu started, nobody really knew what Ogu was doing till he, he killed and sent our hefty 14 young men early grave. That is when we begin to understand that this is not a joke. That is why we can never allow the history to repeat itself again on this Ibubatoro commander. Ibube Monkin, Ibube Ego. And there's something I also want to let our people know again. If 
few people also haven't forgotten. The leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Mazen Nam Kano, have said this time without number. That our M branch is the finest. Their intelligence, you can never compete with it. And I hope you heard what I said. And I want you people to understand because this man, he seems that he is denying. At the end, he complicates himself to let us know that he have already taken the charge. And I will bring the news and then you will understand it because he said it from his mouth. I am not coming here to fabricate lies or to concord story or to put it so to make it sweet or my game. No, I'm telling you the raw what he said, what come out from his mouth. Because I judge people according to what you release or what you dropped from your mouth. Then you begin to understand that we are whiter than white, whiter than snow. There's no two ways about it. And believe you me, you can never dispute it. You can never dispute it. Our leader talk about our embrace, that they are finest. Our security are tight. And I want you people to understand this. Before any one of the leadership come out to announce somebody's name or they tax somebody as wanted. And I want you people to understand that the investigation has been carried. That is the reason why I keep on telling people you must listen to Radio Biafra. You must. This is where you will get authentic information. Any day that the leadership come out and announce somebody's name, that this person is a threat, this is a new Ebubago commander, they are all authentic. They will never lie because our M branch have carried the investigation and come in conclusion that this thing they are seeing, this is the way it is before the leadership will come out and announce it. Now let us pay attention to the news in details. Then I will tell you how this man accepted that he had been taking the new commander of Ibubago. Why they have told Mayor of Mozambique to pipe low, to go for low key, to go and hide. But we haven't forgotten. Because on this Biafran restoration project, everything that is happening, we are recording it. It's not like before. Everything that happens, that is why you see when I bring out my book, I've been recording everything because we are going to also bring it out in future to come to show you that all this things have been recorded. Now pay attention to this and listen to this, what this man said from his mouth, not from me, so that you will begin to judge everything that come out from their mouth because that is what we will use to judge them and debunk them, then you begin to understand. The new Ebube Atoro, Ebube Monkey, Ebube Busu, Ebube Fulani, the commander said, he's telling the world to disregard the information that is coming from pit of hell. Which information that is coming from Peter Fell? Which information that we should disregard? Why can this man tell us that? Uh, you see, because he has been taking the position. Now he's trying to, you know, trying to make people feel that he was telling us that he's from Olu. Everybody knows him, that all the whole securities in Olu, they are under him because he's a mayor. I don't know where they are getting this mayor from. I don't know who is giving them that title mayor. That all of them are able to look for Peter or senior mayor. That is the problem of our people. We don't want to do it every day for a long time. How we want to keep looking for care? We are not far back. All this thing is rubbish. It's a rubbish, rubbish. Now, I want to tell you people where this man complicates himself. 
at the same time that he's telling us that we should disregard this information, that this information is coming from pit of hell. At the same time, he tell us that the reason why he formed a coalition is because of injustice. Now he's telling us that he have formed a coalition with a bubago. He have taken over a bubago. But something that we are telling this man that yeah, bravo, bravo, chere, chere, oh. Makandion and a kifabo indigenous people. Nden din a silia, nden a siliabo, the indigenous people of Biafra by Nesilia. One ne, I see a lego, you got a listen. We are telling the man, if he like, oh, let him go and lie in the pit of hell. If he like, let him disregard what we're saying. But we have come in conclusion through our M branch that this man had been taking over a bubago. He is their new commander, and he admitted it by saying the reason why he formed coalition is because of injustice. Injustice of who? The one that Ogu killed, name our people. That hope who's on them one is championing. Have we getting the justice from these people? These our brothers they killed more than dozen, 14, 14 hefty guys. Have we have we getting information? Can somebody tell me the, the, the justice that this man wants to get? Oh, okay, he wants to kill me. I want to tell this man to go to our bushes and begin to fight Mayati Allah. They are our problem. This is what I bring for you people today. Good day and welcome.